We all know how competitive the truck market is getting, and Kia is just one of the newcomers. This is very good news for us because they have a reputation for disrupting a lot of markets, and they do this by always making you their top priority. We're not just saying this because of the hype. There are actually two main reasons why Kia has always destroyed their competition, and the two giants, Toyota and Ford, already know this. So, watch till the end to know exactly why this truck is shocking everyone. Performance The new truck, named Tasman, will be a very powerful and capable truck set to challenge the Ford Ranger and Toyota Hilux. It's going to be reliable and durable because it might be a surprise to most of you. But Kia has been making trucks for a long time, almost 40 years. The only thing different is that now they'll be making for the global market. There will be a lot of things that make this truck different, besides being powerful and capable. Kia has been on the rise in recent years, and this is thanks to the way they operate. They put you, the customer, first. They have an unlimited 7-year warranty and a 2-year repair policy, which is double of the time compared to the average of other companies. This is what the truck market has been desperately needing, and who wouldn't want this kind of deal? And this is the first reason why the market will be disrupted. For a long time, automakers have been profiting a lot from pickup trucks, often without giving anything in return. There hasn't been any company like this in the market, and inevitably, things are going to change. But don't be fools, this truck is not only about policies. According to Kia dealers in Austria, Kia is benchmarking the Tasman against segment leaders, the Hilux and the Ranger. It is set to challenge, if not destroy, most of its competition. It can tow up to 7,000 pounds and has a payload capacity of 2,000 pounds on just the base model, which is more than enough for most of your daily activities. This is because of a lot of different factors, mainly the platform, but we should talk about that in depth, and we will, so stick till the end. Because before that, there is one more important thing we need to talk about powerful engines. This is the most important component of any car, and that is why the Tasman will be available with two different turbocharged engine options. The first is a 2.2-litre Smart Stream turbocharged diesel, four-cylinder engine that can generate 210 horsepower and an impressive 310 pound-feet of torque, which is enough for most needs. But if you need more power, there is a second option you can choose a petrofuel 2.5-litre turbo four-cylinder engine that provides a generous power output of 276 horsepower and a similar torque output as the first option. And you don't have to worry about its reliability and durability, because this engine has been in use on the Hyundai Sonata N-Line, and there haven't been any major problems till now. And why would the Tasman be the exception? And it's a lot easier for you to fix compared to most of the new, so-called modern and sophisticated engines. But for those who want even more power, and those who are a bit more daring, there is another option. An electric Tasman. This will be the most powerful option, and all the attention has been directed towards this one. There is a growing demand for it, but there are also a lot of speculations and a lot of worry about its performance. Surprisingly, it will be one of the best out there on the market, with 550 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque, and with this engine, you can tow up to 7,500 pounds. But beyond the spec, there's one major factor at play here. Remember the warranty and all the repair policies we talked about? Here is planning to do the same on this truck too, so you don't have to worry about any malfunctions. The Australian Chief Operating Officer, who is in charge of the Tasman development, has said that it will have a very strong value proposition and a very strong warranty. But of course, there are a lot more challenges than reliability when it comes to full electric trucks. But we'll talk about charging, mileage, and the second main reason later in depth, because there's one more thing you need to know that has captured a lot of people's attention. Exterior Design This is a modern truck, and as such, it will be designed to resemble that concept. According to Kia's design boss, Karim Habib, the Tasman will have a very distinctive look, inspired by the Kia EV3 and EV5 which have a boxy and sleek, sporty design with a raw carbon fiber effect and vertical door handles, adding a distinctive character. Although it is designed to be different, it's nothing like the Tesla Cybertruck. It was recently spotted covered in a disguise. And the thing that first catches your eye is the centerpiece, with a tiger nose grille and vertically staked LED headlamps, making it a very bold truck that you can't help but feel the ruggedness of, and surely it will stand out from all the crowd. All around, it looks more like a modern reincarnation of traditional trucks, 
with squared off wheel arches and a boxy upright glass house. The rear glass wraps around the back and we don't have to tell you how good that looks and it gives it a boxy and high class feeling. But on the inside, it's a bit different. They want to give you the best of both worlds, practicality and style. Interior Design The Tasman's interior will be very spacious and the same wrapped rear glass that gives a boxy feeling from the outside makes the interior feel open and much more pleasing. The Tasman will have a double cab layout that seats five passengers with ample headroom and legroom. The seats will be upholstered in durable and premium materials like leather and fabric. You can also choose to have heating and cooling functions. Kia is focused on making it as practical and functional as possible, and the new truck is expected to follow the minimalistic trend we've been seeing recently on many new models. This is not bad or good, but it all depends on your preference. But one of the features that makes it really unique is the dual panoramic curved display that combines a 12-inch digital instrument cluster with another 12-inch infotainment display. And this is not the only advanced feature. The Tasman will be equipped with a 360-degree surround view mirror and a lot of driver assistance and safety systems, which you probably have heard about so many times by now, so will not waste your time, and will continue on to their strategies behind this design. All of these design features make the Tasman the gateway car for people who want to try out an electric truck, and if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. The design is halfway between an electric and a traditional truck, and to do this, Kia had to make the interior the best of both worlds. But all of this couldn't be possible without the platform, because everything about the ride quality and capabilities like towing and off-road are determined by it. So, let's talk about the platform. The Tasman will be built on a body-on-frame platform, which means it will be very powerful and capable, just like the Toyota Tacoma and Ford Ranger. And this type of platform is really capable of going off-road without breaking a sweat, and the Tasman, especially with the higher bumper and a 4x4 system, will be equipped to handle different terrains and harsh conditions. But this doesn't mean it will go to the extreme like the Jeep Gladiator or the F-150. It'll be more of an urban truck that you can take it off-road, especially with the diesel engine option. But just like we promised, let's talk about the most powerful option and its details. Charging and Battery We all know that this is the major problem with most EVs, and that is why Kia will be using a 123kWh battery pack, which can go up to 280 miles on just a single charge, which is impressive. But that is not all. The Tasman is expected to be equipped with an 800 volt architecture that enables it to be charged with 250 kilowatts, which simply means that you'll be able to charge it from 10% to 80% in just 18 minutes. And this is just too good, because what this means, in other words, is that it will add another 216 miles of range in less than 20 minutes. But we all know that most of you, just like us, are wondering what the range will be like while towing heavy cargo because even diesel trucks have a hard time under heavy loads, and sometimes you'll have to stop too often at gas stations to fill your tank. But we actually did the calculations, and the result is really surprising. If you tow a 4,000-pound trailer on the new Tasman and ride it on a single charge, this truck can go up to 220 miles, which is just insane. And you have to know that this is without considering all other factors, like temperature, slope, and your driving style. This is only if things are perfect. But still, it means you don't have to worry much about the battery mileage. But enough about capabilities, let's talk about the numbers. Price One of the main selling points of Kia's new truck is its affordability. While the exact pricing for it has not been officially announced yet, we can make an educated guess based on what they have revealed and their strategy. Its main rivals, the Hilux and Ranger, start at $24,000 and $30,000 respectively. But since the Tasman will have an electric version, it will likely be priced a bit higher compared to these ones. But even if it is a bit more expensive, Kia makes it up to you through their policies, and this is the second reason. Many companies will only lower prices, like Ford did with the F-150, but Kia will give you your money's worth. And it is expected to start around $32,000 and go up to $50,000. This would put it in line with the higher-end models of the Hilux and Ranger, as well as other competitors like the Chevrolet Colorado, Nissan Frontier, and Jeep Gladiator. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.